You could be rich, man, but you cannot erase the work ethic part. There is no getting around. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stands. Y'all got to start getting gritty, man. Somebody taught this to me a long time ago. He says, Steve, in order to get to the life of your dreams, you're going to have to learn how to get comfortable being uncomfortable. When you hear people say all the time, I don't want to do nothing that I'm not comfortable with, this person's in trouble. Because whatever your comfort zone is, if you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you'll fail. If your comfort zone is this big and you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you'll fail. In order to succeed in life, you have to step outside of your comfort zone. But I want to tell you something about yourself. All of you are equipped to live outside of your comfort zone. See, a lot of people are afraid to jump. A lot of people are afraid to take chances. A lot of people are afraid to put things up for risk. And you shouldn't be. Now, you can be afraid, but you should learn how to go ahead anyhow. See, because let me show you something about yourself. For all the bad days you've ever had, for every day that you thought you wasn't going to get through, for every period in your life you did not see no way you could come out on the other side, your track record for surviving them bad days is 100%. You have to survive every single one of them. Your track record for surviving bad days, y'all, is 100%. And that's pretty good. You can't name one bad day you ain't got through. I have a life of convenience now. But in order to get the life of convenience, you gotta have a very uncomfortable life. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way. You got to get, you got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You're going to ask somebody for some money. He's going to tell you no. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You take a seed and throw it on the concrete. Don't put no dirt on it and watch what happens. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop. Because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you got to have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed. But that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad because you get a setback. You get mad because you get thrown off course. You get mad because you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad because they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad because you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. I want you to think about all them bad moments you had that looked like you were.